Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I just want to read something really quick to you out of the book of Luke. Luke chapter 3, it says, in verse 21, When all the people were baptized, John the Baptist was baptized in the river Jordan. When all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized. And while he prayed, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descends in bodily form like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, You are my beloved Son, and you I am well pleased. And if you go to chapter 4, verse 1, it says, Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for forty days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing, and afterward, when they had ended, he was hungry. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become, to become bread. But Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, by every word of God. Then the devil, taking him up on the mouth, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world at a moment, in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I will give you and their glory. For this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then he brought him to Jerusalem, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, mm, mm, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It has been said, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Now the devil, when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. Now, why am I going over this today? What was the last thing God said to you? In this context right here, the last thing that the Father said to Jesus was, You, Jesus, are my beloved Son. In you, Jesus, I, your Heavenly Father, am well pleased. And what is the first thing the devil says to Jesus? If you are the Son of God, if you really are who he says you are, who you think you are, if are you sure that that's really who you are? So my question always to people is, what is the last thing that God said to you? What is the last thing? And many people have no clue. Unfortunately, many people that call themselves Christians or believers or followers of Christ have no clue what the last thing God said to them was. But the beauty of it is, is God does not always speak to us in the way that he spoke to Jesus in this, in this context right here. We don't always hear an audible voice from heaven saying, you are my beloved daughter. You are this, you are this. We don't always hear that. Sometimes God will use other means. Sometimes he'll reveal something to us in a dream. Sometimes he'll reveal something to us in someone else. He'll give them an insight into something greater and deeper, even though inside of us, it should bear witness. The Bible says to test all things that if, if, to see if they be from God. So I'm asking you, to look into your vault of memory, storage, places in your heart and find the last thing that God said to you. Because the last thing God said to you will be the thing that the enemy is trying to use to distract you. And if you allow that voice to rise louder than the voice of he who created you, the one who made you in his image and his likeness, the one who gave his life and died for you to redeem you from the curse of the law. If you allow those voices to block out that purpose, you're going to go through a wilderness season that is so unnecessary. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for each and every person that may take the couple minutes to watch this. I pray, Lord God, that you would open up their, their eyes and their ears and their hearts. Father, I pray that you would illuminate, Lord God, everything that you have spoken over them. I pray that it would be so in the name of Jesus. Father, by the authority given to me as a son of God, a child of God, a follower of you, Jesus. I release, Lord God, the ability to hear, Lord God, what the Spirit says. I release, Lord God, the ability to have eyes that see with clarity, Lord God, truth from error, truth from deception, the truth from the lie. And I pray, Lord God, that there would be a dividing line, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that would separate the sheep from the goats, Lord God, that those standing in the middle would realize that they are falling farther and farther from you each moment, that those in darkness, Father, would be drawn to the light, 
and that those in light, Lord God, would press in toward the upward call of God through Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you for each and every person that does listen today. And I pray, Lord God, that they would be receptive to your heart, to your spirit, to your will, and to your purpose for them. And I give you all the glory, Father. I give you all the glory, Father, in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. A blessed day. And do not allow the lies of the enemy to be louder than the voice of the one who loves you, died for you, and created you with purpose on purpose. We are red.